What's up guys, here for the same ad YouTube channel. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the formation with the most deep half glitch route combinations in Madden 20. But before we do that, please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Also make sure you guys take the time to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of the uploads coming your way here on the Zan Madden YouTube channel. If you guys wanna watch me play Madden live, you guys can find me on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Madden. The link is below in the description as is a link to my ebook bundle. If you're looking for a way to finish the game on a different offense and defense than you started the year in, you guys can get a hold of my Washington offensive ebook with my breakdowns out of the single back wing tight U, wing tight, and wing tight Z, as well as my comprehensive 3 4 bear defense with over 35,000 snaps spent in that defense, stopping all the meta runs, the rollout corners, and locking down the field with unique coverage defenses been something i've been running all year long and if you guys want to learn how to run that as you finish the season strong in madden 20 you guys can find that at my pay hip account the link in the description below okay guys without further ado let's go ahead and break down today's video we are in the west coast offense this is one of my two offenses that i'm running to finish the year um you guys all know about the wing tight you i talk about it before every single video that's my washington offense my other offense that I'm running is actually a double tank offense out of the West Coast where I'm using the two back formations with two receivers and a tight end. But my two running backs are both tight ends with the tank ability, Gronk and Gentry. And what I do is I try to use them with uh, basically matchup nightmare, try to put them on routes so that way linebackers are manned up or they're attacking zones where linebackers are. And I can throw those balls to those players out of the backfield pretty consistently because matchup nightmare means that you'll aggressive catch or you'll be able to catch in traffic against linebackers so that's really opened up the backfield game for me and that's opened up the receivers as a result guys that don't have abilities on the field for me so for this tip what we're going to do is we're going to put our fastest receiver at the outside receiver position marquise goodwin and uh, what we're going to do is we are going to show you guys the strong slot this is the formation with the most deep half one play scores in madden so if you take a look here pa post shot works pa fb slide works pa lead draw shot works mills works and then obviously it's got a, a little bit of a run game as well stretch alert bubbles counter stuff halfback toss dive inside zone split uh, you you could definitely tell but the play that we're going to run today is going to be the pa lead draw shot and the reason that i like this is this is one of those cover two beating plays where the formula that you typically see for cover two one play scores does not apply so for instance i'm going to go ahead and break down the play out of mills let's go ahead and get on the field here i'm just going to break this down against uh, a regular cover two defense here, here, we go, here, we go, here we go. now as you guys know the rules for a cover two deep half glitch as it's been known to be called is that you can't have a route that releases vertically off the line on the short side of the field and you can't have any routes that run to the wide side or i'm sorry the short side of the field so in this case we have a route in samuel that breaks over the middle towards the short side of the field that can't happen he can run a vertical route but he has to stay on his side of the field or stay vertical so um you know in general what you can't have is any tight end routes releasing you can't have any running back routes leaking to the short side of the field um, in general, you have to have something that, you know, resembles, you know, something like this or this in which you don't have anything vertical off the short side. So, and if you're facing a cover two defense, what ends up happening is you see that that deep half bites that allows us to throw that ball all the way over the top for the one play score because he doesn't have a route attacking his area of the field. But if you have anything that releases vertically off the short side of the field, uh, that can actually cause that deep half to play differently so in this situation watch kittle he's going to cause that deep half to not bite down here in this example so you see how that post route runs right towards him and he's actually there to make the play so that's the biggest problem right is you can't really have any any crazy routes off the uh the line of scrimmage vertically to the tight end so that includes the cross route if i were to put the the tight end i believe on a apprentice cross route that will change how this this plays i believe so you see right here yeah, how that guy basically doesn't bite down very quickly. So it looked like he was trying to. We'll go ahead and give him one more chance here. But in general, that route does not do a good job of, um, you know, staying low enough to keep that safety from biting down. He actually does bite down late. We could actually throw that. But his reaction is, like I said, it is later 
in the play. And there's also something to that cross route that I'm not, not particularly a big fan of. And that is actually the depth of the route. So while the, the crossing route to the tight end does kind of work, I want to show you something that is a little bit better for beating cover two zone. So we're going to go back to the play in the strong slot. And the play that we're again going to be calling is known as PA lead draw shot. So, um, and we're going to be breaking this down against your cover two defense. So go ahead and go into like a Tampa two style defense here. If I could find one, um, let's see, we'll just go back to big nickel over G and, uh, you can see that the tight end on this play is actually on a cross route by default. Um, and I want you to compare his cross route where it lands. If you take a look at the depth of his cross route, it goes uh, and it crosses the number 40 right at about that arrow. If you see that, that's kind of where it crosses. If you were to use the other crossing route and take a look, it's about a yard shorter. And that yard actually matters if you think about it. So if we were to run this route combination, it's not that you couldn't necessarily fit the ball to the tight end. It's that that cloud flat is kind of a concern. You kind of want to throw that ball over the top of that cloud flat. And we were fortunately able to do that on the run, but you see how he was backing up and trying to get into that throw. So the depth of the stock crossing route on this play for the lead draw shot is actually better for being able to clear over the top of cloud flats. So you see here how this is going to work. He's going to go ahead and get over the top. You can go ahead and just throw an up pass lead. He's open by 20 yards while you're not sacrificing your one play score potential. So, uh, if we go ahead and run this again here, you know, just putting B on a flat here in this example, you notice that you can go ahead and roll out or throw this ball all the way back over the top. So you can basically roll out looking for your tight end on the crossing route across the field or throw the post over the top against cover two for the one play score. Uh, this should remind you in a way, should be kind of similar to the way people like to run the play um, wide receiver post out a bunch where they have that crossing route and then they had the post over the top from the opposite side. You could also use hitches on this play. If their user, you know, that gives you a little dump down play over the middle. Um, that's still going to allow you to throw the crossing route or the uh, post route over the top. This gives you a third option against your cover two defense. I like this a lot too, because if you are flushing out towards the tight end rollout, uh, that gives you a nice little check down with the tight end going back over the top. You see how that B gets open. Uh, if A doesn't get open, you have X certainly for the one play score. So, this play is going to absolutely annihilate your cover two defense. Um, you know, if they were to go ahead and put a middle linebacker deep down the middle of the field, if you were to have matchup nightmare on this outside receiver uh, to guarantee aggressive catches against that linebacker deep, that will allow you to keep your deep half glitches, it's called, uh, you know, and be able to exploit that as well. Now, what about other zones in this game? What other zones can we beat with this play? Um, and really, you could beat almost any of them because of the way the formation is spaced. Um, so if I were to go into, you know, your dollar look and go to your cover four drop, um, you're going to notice that, you know, with very little effort, you're going to be able to run this and and beat, uh, you know, those zones to the crossing route very, very easily. Now, as far as beating cover four goes, you have to have a big, big arm quarterback, very, very big arm quarterback to beat cover four. Um, go ahead and show you what I mean here. So you see how this is going to work. Um, you know, you're going to have to really be able to throw that ball all the way over the top for that one play score there in that regard. Now, this play in general, because it is uh, it is considered a double post, it does allow you to beat cover four. You can actually leave the B route on its crossing route, and it'll help bite down that safety. So watch the safety on the right here, how he bites down. And that allows us to throw this ball all the way over the top of him, which is pretty nice as well. Um, so, you know, you can beat cover four on this play as well. There is another play that I like. That is in this formation that you guys can use uh, assuming the route combination is the same uh it is the play slide pullback slide um i like this against your cover uh cover three and cover four as well assuming this is the right corner and it is uh this corner gets some serious depth um so what you could do on this play is maybe drag the tight end and just have a nice little flood to the wide side of the field you're gonna see how this corner route should break over the top uh, and it did. It, it broke right into that void, uh, and it would have would have been wide open. Let's go ahead and do that again here. Uh, so you can drag the tight end, just block everyone in the backfield, and then that B route is just going to be wide open right there against your cover four defenses. Won't matter if they shade cloud flats; he'll be able to break into that spot pretty easily um, as well. Another thing that you could do on this play, if you like, uh, is kind of run 
you know, you could run like the, the fullback out of the backfield, the tight end on a drag. You can motion this route across the formation and kind of throw this as a post over the middle. So you could have a post on the left, a post on the right. You see how that route breaks into a nice little area as well. Um, so you got a little kind of like a, a, it's a fork concept with a post and a corner to the same side of the field, but you could basically run this across and make it into kind of a double post concept uh, if you wish. So you can see how this should uh, do a pretty decent job. And it's wide open in the middle of the field. I mean, it was open the entire way there. You could have thrown that at any point. Um, this formation in general, this strong slot is really complete. Really, really complete. Um, I love this because of the way that I run my offense. You have to imagine I've got, uh, you know, the tank ability on my uh, my two tight ends that are in the backfield and also streak specialists. So uh, you have to imagine that like most are right here is actually Gronkowski. But when you're running this formation, the way that I run it and I run this on stream, you have the ability to motion my tight ends out. And then all of a sudden you've got a, a height mismatch, six foot eight down the sideline. And, you know, if you're facing any type of cover three, you guys know how that that streak that streak ability is right now where you just basically do that and you except you have streak specialists but it gets caught so you know depending on how they like to play you this turns into a huge mismatch where i can motion my you know my tight ends out of the backfield and do some crazy stuff with them where you know it's going to allow me to um you know here in this example we've got that route apprentice there with kittle you could do some pretty crazy stuff you know corner routes out of the backfield well tech, basically just a slant out uh, but, you know, you can do some pretty crazy stuff with this, which is a lot of fun right now. Again, you guys can check me out on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Zan Madden. Uh, you guys go there, and uh, that's where I'm running that offense. So hopefully you all see you guys in the chat here. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Any questions, comments, concerns, or complaints, drop those below. Appreciate all the support on the channel. Looking forward to Madden 21. We'll see you guys tomorrow with our next upload. Until then, this is Zan. Hit the lab and good luck.